I, I was working on my computer last night because I'm taking um, I'm taking a six hour uh, driving safety course online to reduce my points by four. I took that. You did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. You took it, Sam Roberts. Yes, I did. Wait, what are you talking about? You're in, you have that <sighs> many points. Well, as of last night, well, I went to night court last night in uh, Old Westbury. Was the bald guy there? No, no, Bull wasn't there, or the comedian Bull? guy that does magic. What the fuck? Did he uh, take the night off? I guess Bull took the night off. That's too bad. Um, I, I was there for my ticket I got in the Mustang. Uh, Which one? Uh, well, this one was the one on Old Country Road when I decided to do a 75 and a 45. Ouch. Uh, You're I, speeding. I had just turned off the parkway. Right. And um, it was probably maybe 10 o'clock at night. I made the left onto Glen Cove Road, and it's completely straight. And I'm just like, I, I just want to open this thing up, get the fucking supercharger whining. <laughs> going through the gears and th th then I go to make the turn to go into my little neighborhood and I just see lights fucking like reflecting off the oh, trees man. I don't see him behind me yet but I know he's he's coming so that's when you gotta keep going I should have ran because I could have just gone like really fast and then got into my garage like I could have and shut the garage door and fucking game over he wouldn't know where you were go though. to pay and no. spray pay and pay spray. spray takes yeah. care of that shit and it doesn't matter if he knows where I am I, it wasn't me driving that's right I don't know. someone had my car that's right I left it out back yesterday, and when we woke up, it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go, oh, really? And, you know, open the garage. And then, of course, you open the garage, and your car is a different color. And they're like, oh, fuck. And all right, like, all right. looking for a blue you car. You see the stars go down. All it's right. fucking so satisfying. But they stay around just a little bit all confused. And they walk like, around ah, a little, take off. and then they leave. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so I, I got that ticket, and... Um, and a ticket for uh, no, no front license plate, which, by the way, I'm not putting a fucking front license plate on my Mustang. Well, it's just another scam it's that they, fucking, came, they you know, came up with. Because they know a lot of guys have uh, really nice cars and they don't want that front license yeah, plate. So fuck that shit. They know they could just collect money all day long. Well, so uh, fucking assholes. Enough already. Yeah. How much money do you need from us? So I have this court appearance. Sorry. Apparently they do night court. <laughs> it starts at seven. Really? At night, yeah. So I, I go there, and um, oh boy, the collection of degenerates in a courtroom at any given moment. Kind of jealous. A uh, little, um, no offense there, Mars, but wow, a lot of your peeps. A lot, a lot of, of your peeps that drive around with no fucking license, apparently, because that was like the charge of the fucking night. <laughs> a bunch of people that came up with someone else because they don't speak he. And uh, they have to translate. One guy comes up and he's like, uh, uh, no English. And his friend goes, um, uh, I'm here to help him. He goes, and the judge is like, we'll see if you need help, if he needs any of your help. Uh, ustedes, uh, and he starts like speaking this really, he, the, the judge was uh, about 80 years old. 80 years old. He was very old. And there's a story to him, too, that I'll get to. But um, so a bunch of people are going up and and now I have to deal with you got to go in the back with the prosecuting attorney uh, who goes with everybody. And, and, you know, you knock shit down, you make a deal, you do something. So I went in the back there and um, she goes, well, did you w did you fix the license plate? I'm like, yeah, she goes, you got proof. I go, yeah, but I, I, go, I don't have the proof. It's in the shop. So it's some line of shit. She goes, OK, well, you're going to get it fixed, right? I'm like, yes course and she goes the speeding thing she goes i see you have another speeding ticket here on your record and uh she goes all right look we'll we'll take it and we'll put it down to a um illegal lane change but for three points instead of speedo can, for six points i gotta interrupt yeah but you didn't do that i know i, I don't do understand it. how they could just do that dude and, they and, were giving and I'm, I'm happy they did because it works in your favor but yeah that's just like nonsense. They were doing shit last night. This, it's like this you is didn't make an illegal done. fucking lane change. I know. They were speeding. The judge is doing this last night all fucking night. Right. He's going, uh, so you spoke at the prosecutor and she has informed me that you are withdrawing your not guilty plea on the charge of illegal lane change for somebody that did do an illegal right. lane change. Illegal lane change uh, in lieu of pleading guilty on a charge of no parking. 
And they're like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, your honor. They're like, yes, sir. He goes, okay, $85 with a $25 surcharge. Instead, instead of points and... All night but, long, it was no parking, but, no parking, no parking. But why can't they say, uh, you know, you were speeding, but we have decided... Right. Well, then you don't get the points. I know, but it's, uh, we're but not going to give you points Why to, make, not, it, to right. make it something. But where at least it's have the charge. <laughs> at least have the charge in the in the book that you actually did. But then somehow <laughs> have a workaround where okay, we acknowledge you did this, but we have decided to do this. It's the biggest scam ever. It's unbelievable. They just you didn't want... make an illegal lane change. No, I didn't. I was speeding. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts. It was a six point speedo. Right. And wow. uh, but I got I got off on a three point. Illegal lane change. Which you did not do. Which I didn't do, <laughs> but it, it put me to the big 11 points on my license. 11 fucking points. So wow. I have to take, I know, I have a six point um, speeding. I have an. What was uh, that one? Uh, that was um, on the expressway. No, I know, yeah. but how, mu how fast? Uh, I guess it was 30. 30 miles. 30 over. So 85? Yeah. Ish. Fucking six, six points. And then, <laughs> I, and then on that, I also had a two point, um, conversion. Two point conversion. Really? Uh, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, not when using you're going a 85 blinker. miles an hour. Not using a blinker, but I was. That mm -hmm. was the MTA fucking guy that pulled me over and got me on right. that. Right. Oh. Yeah. And gave me a fucking two point ticket, which I, uh, for, uh, blinker but i i did use my blinker okay. i might speed but i always use my fucking blinker and then now the three points puts me at uh 11 points 11 11 so i figure i have to take this fucking online thing but uh before that so the judge i'm looking at the judge and he's fucking old as fuck and he's got this uh his little plaque the honorable judge um edward joachim Wow, using his real and name and everything. He's a judge. It's it's you know sure. open. New. He's All the right. only old Westbury fucking night court judge. All right. So, uh, yeah. So uh, I'm looking at his name and I'm like, holy shit! I know that fucking name. I know that fucking name, and I know who this guy is. And uh, I walk up to the bench, and he goes, Anthony Cumia. Who's Joey Cumia? And I went, that was my father, and he worked for you at Joachim Flanzig and Weissman in the early 70s. <laughs> what? And, and this guy's eyes popped out of his fucking head. Get the fuck out of he's here. Like, he's like, and how do you know that? I go, because over 40 years ago, I was sitting in your office <laughs> as a kid. Wow. <laughs> so in front of everybody? Yeah, yeah. So what was that, a law firm? Yeah, yeah. It was so what did your dad do for a law road. firm? He was, uh, he was the private investigator guy. Oh, he was the guy. He was the guy. Like when you, when they out, needed uh, the you're, investigator. You're out of work on a bad back thing, and, and your father went around It was to a little more how, shady stuff than that. Even shadier. Oh, yeah. Oh, like yeah. Like what? Can you say? Uh, like marriage stuff, uh, cheat, infidelity, um, theft, uh, things like that. You know? Okay. All right. Uh, so the judge remembers your father. Yeah, yeah. Well, your father was a character, obviously. I, I know. I never met him, but it's pretty obvious to everyone. He was a character. Yeah, yeah. So people didn't forget Joe Cumia. He goes, Joe, oh, yeah. He goes, uh, oh, got some great stories. And I of go, I, I go, I, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard many of them. And then I brought up another guy that was like best friends with my dad that also worked with him. And he's like, oh, yeah. He goes, wow, yeah, I, I, I remember those guys. It was... And we're having a little chat at the bench about so if you're uh, a little chat like the that, early 70s. You should, you should have been clear. Well, it's not up to him, really. It's up to that stupid prosecutor, well, and they bad. already made the deal, so he just goes through the motions. Well, can't the judge kind of give a wink and a nod? Yeah, yeah. If they're changing charges, can he also go? I like, know. Like, yeah. And then if he did in the middle of the courtroom, like noticing all the people watching me have this fucking right. pal around conversation with the judge. Uh, yeah, that was really fucking weird, though. It's like there's there's paths crossed back then. Haven't seen the guy yet. And then all of a sudden, if you look at all your life, everywhere you went, and then all of a sudden, boom, boom. your paths cross again. <laughs> it's, it's just an odd thing like that. It really is. He was, uh, yeah, so so he uh, wished me well, uh, told me to go in the back and pay uh, some money, and uh, that was that. And then I, I went home and signed up for this fucking is six it hour actually course. six hours, or can you do it in a couple no, hours? No, they fucking make it so it's six hours. No, you how? how? Online, right? Yeah, it's online. Well, how oh, yeah. how do they make it six hours? You have segments of this thing. They're little 
pieces right. and they last, you know, this one's four minutes, this one's three minutes. And no matter how, you don't even read it. You, you take their dumb tests. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, what's your responsibilities after an accident? Run away. Nothing. Call your insurance company. Uh, run away! <laughs> can, so, I'm not kidding. You, can, so you check these things. Can they have another option? Get your fucking car off the road so well, they should. no one else is inconvenienced? They fucking should. As you're waiting for a cop to look at your fender bender? <sighs> Bastards. Yeah, so, uh, but, but here's how they do it. They're all timed segments. So the little clock runs down when you, when you log into a new page. Right. And oh it's like, this page God. is four minutes long. So no matter how quick you do it, you have to wait for the four minutes to elapse before you can hit the link and oh go to the next page. Oh, my God. And now you can't even walk away because every so often, at the beginning, you have to answer a fuckload of questions. Have you ever been to Europe? Uh, have you been to California? Do you own a dog? Uh, th there's a bunch of questions you have to answer. And then in intermittently, at random instances during this test, it'll pop up and go beep, beep. And you have to answer the questions that you answered at the beginning to make sure you're still sitting oh, there. Dude, you wow. Test. What? The improv, believe it or not, has its own test. It's the same, you know, it's a licensed thing. Yeah. And what they do is they put up the page and it's like, oh, it's a really long page. But it's like 25 minutes. And then after 25 minutes, you answer like five questions about that whole long page. Uh, yeah. But for me, like I was sitting there and I'd pull up the new page and I'd walk away and watch TV for 25 minutes. No, this one keeps tabs on you. No way, dude. You took the Fuck wrong me. one. No, they probably reworked it because they knew people were fucking cheating. This was six months ago. Well, six months is a long time. Oh, well, how man. much time did You're you do on it then? Did I say, you done? No, last night I did probably two hours. Oh, okay. oh my God. I got another fucking four can, hours. <laughs> can you fool around with the time on your computer? No. Kind of like the Candy Crush work like around? Candy Crush? No. God, you, you're, you're, you're taking that test like I play Candy Crush. You got to wait for new lives. Dude, that it, sucks. It's, I don't pay attention to anything going on. Like, like there's videos you have to watch too. Right. Like, it's like this segment is a video, it's 10 minutes long. So you turn it on. 10 minutes. And you hear like the music starts. It's like. It, it, <laughs> Chevrolet's anti-lock braking. Anti-lock brakes. Use them and don't take your foot off the pedal. It, these old fucking films about all oh, kinds of shit. Oh, you're in hell. Ah. Oh. You're in hell. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I guess for four points though, that's a lot of points to lose. Man. That's yeah. a good amount of points to get taken off. It yeah. is, and I need it because uh, you're you an know, ass. I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm an ass. Let me go to Ohio, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie, he's gonna explain why they uh, changed the speeding tickets to parking tickets. All right, that's a it's actually uh, Long Island, guys. I'm in Nassau County, just like my good friend Mr. Cooper. Welcome ah, aboard, Charlie. Yes, sir. <laughs> Or as Opie says, NASA County. <laughs> yes, Na NASA County, home of the astronauts. Uh, the <laughs> Even after I acknowledge that, they're still beating the shit out of me. <laughs> Doesn't matter, you acknowledged it. <laughs> you got a lot of words wrong. I'm keeping track. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> Go ahead, Charlie. Uh, God. Go ahead, the, buddy. Um, any moving violations, speeding, red light, etc., those are state laws, which means they have state surcharges and the state gets the money. No parking is a local ordinance, village, county, town, etc. That means that the local ordinance that pays that judge, they get to keep the money. They don't have to kick any of the money up to the state. Oh, okay. There's a real answer. That makes sense. There's a real answer. Thanks, Charlie. You got it. Wait, I appreciate longer. it. We All thought right. you were a complete idiot before you talked. And I we know. Were wrong. Thank well, you, Charlie. Well, all we have to do is take another phone call, yes, and that and guy will say that guy was wrong. Yeah. Guys, an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you, people. Trust us. Oh no, man, I you know I think we confuse people. Most yeah. most of the people are, are cool as shit on on Twitter and everywhere yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> They should get the attention, not the fucking people that despise either individuals on the show or the despised. whole show. Despised. Uh, wow. All right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's I'm in the middle of doing one of those improv. What by improv? I'm telling you, it's the same people. It's got to be the same fucking God, thing. Improv. That's right. The comedy clubs are sponsored. New York those. defensive driving. New York defensive but driving. But this one. But did they tell you where to go, or, no, or you I get just, to pick it? 
Keith told me about it. All right, you He's maybe like, you did oh, pick you just, the wrong place. You just go online, you fucking put in yeah. you know, New York State points reduction, and uh, you do that. And how many points are you going to get back? Four. So you'll be down to what? Seven. Oh, my God. Which will yeah. be one point less than I had before I got the Speedo. And I think, um, I think 18 months, I'm coming up on 18 months of that first speeding ticket. So, so that might be dropped. The soon. points will be dropped after 18 months. How bad is I your mean, insurance on that fucking car? That's going to be a lot, right? Fucking looks. It's auto paid. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's tied into my homeowner's yeah, an umbrella know. policy and stuff. I don't even know. I what, don't know. I don't know what I, I don't know what I pay for car insurance. I don't know. I no I'm sure it's a lot. <laughs> I have how no many, idea. How many points do you lose after 18 months? Uh, you lose whatever. Oh, I lose six, seven, eight points. Wow. Yeah. You lose that many points after 18 months? Yep. So, it's, uh, so, f yeah. so fuck the online shit. No, Wait it out. I need it now. Wait they, it out. They'll suspend my license. Mm. 11 is a suspension. Yeah. You oh. go back to that judge, he'll take care of you. Maybe. Old Joachim. He's in your town, too? Joachim. Well, no, I was in Old Westbury. There were no prostitution cases or anything in Night Court? It was all just traffic. Oh, that's got to be boring. There was one guy, one guy. Oh, yeah. This other guy is Japanese, right? And he yeah. walks up with another Japanese guy because he didn't speak English. And right. The guy's like, how long have you been here? And he's like, uh, 10 years. 10 years? And you don't talk English? <laughs> I'm like, holy fuck, this guy is just old school old guy. And he's right. He didn't care. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that anymore. Mm -hmm. You're just not allowed to. But he does. And then he's talking. You're going to report that guy. He's talking to another guy who came in. He goes, uh, so what do, you, what do you do for? I like he baited these people. He goes, what do you do for a living? And the guy's like, um, well, I, I'm laid off, but I was working in the fashion industry. And the guy goes, oh, fashion. He goes, uh, is that where you learned how to dress? And the guy's like, uh, excuse me? He goes, dress, you know, you're wearing a, a T-shirt in court. Nice. And, and he's like, oh, boy. Oh, he starts looking around. And he's like, he goes to the judge, like, look around. Do you see anybody else that came to court in a T-shirt? <laughs> nice. And, and then the guy <laughs> goes, it. he goes, yeah, I see a couple of people. Oh, he, And the judge good. goes, you want to point him out? <laughs> and then he starts pointing at people. <laughs> I'm fucking roaring. <laughs> He's like, fucking, he goes, that's not a T-shirt. He's wearing like a polo shirt with a collar. Sure. Short sleeves, but it's like, it, as long as it's, it's got a, a collar, usually. And then he tried to say, well, this is a V-neck. Because it's a T-shirt. So then um, he started, he, st he actually really got on this guy. He had a lot of uh, traffic tickets and whatnot. Yeah. And he goes, you're 30. He goes, you're 30 years old. Because when are you going to get some responsibility? He goes, you know, he goes, World War II. He goes, young people were out there fighting Japanese and Germans <laughs> at 20 years old, 18 years old. He goes, you're 30. Oh, it was great. Nice. He was dressing down everybody. He's, he's beyond caring about yes. somebody being upset. He's in his 80s. It's <laughs> great to be in that spot, give a right? Shit. That's great. Yes. Sweet. I remember him in his office. I the one thing I remember about his office. Yeah. I walked in there and his clowns? son. His Lots son, of clowns. Uh, no, no, no he wasn't clown guy. Okay. He he his son was there too, and his son was a little older than I was, and uh, his son was perusing through. His father's collection of Playboy magazines <laughs> yeah, in the office. That's right. It's old. That's what I do. To whack him there had fucking some Playboys in his office. Nice. And I was like, oh man. To whack him? To whack him. <laughs> Get it? To whack him. Get it? Fuck. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the Japs. Yeah. Uh, with the government shutdown, you know, the World War uh, II memorial is getting a lot of heat. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and you know, you had the old uh, the old guys just taking down the barricades and saying, fuck this, you can't close this it's shit. It's outdoors. Yeah, because I guess I didn't even know this. There's, um, you know, there's a charity that flies these guys in to see the, the, the memorial. Uh-huh. You know, so, and it's, in a lot of cases, the only time these guys are going to see right. the memorial because they're at the end of their lives. So they were interviewing a whole bunch of uh, vets yesterday, and one guy right on CNN, and I was like, "This is how it used to be." He was talking about how they had to, you know, fight the Japs and hold the, the Japs, Japs back, and you could see the reporter just sitting there like, "Oh fuck, I don't know if this is gonna fly," but I can't tell this old man that they get away. You can't it. say Japs anymore. World War II vets have carte blanche about talking about the Japanese Absolutely. and Germans. I, I think mean, so. they, and people put it in context. And they're like, well, they were trying to kill this motherfucker. <laughs> it's a guy in a wheelchair. He goes, you know, the Japs. And I'm like, yeah. wow. It just sounds so weird when you do hear it now on, on uh, 
You know, yeah, well, at first I was over there fighting the Jerry's. <laughs> right. Yeah, the lousy Huns. And then I went over and killed me some nips. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, wow, dude. And the reporter, well, yes, you heard him killed nips. Right. Back to you in the studio. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to know why you don't pay one of the interns to do it. I don't know what that means. I could take oh. the test. Oh. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Give them a quick hun hundred or something. Yeah, just make them sit there and take it for you. Although the interns we get, I wouldn't trust any of them to put my fucking... I don't even know their names either. yet. Well. Anyone know their names? I mean, I do, but... I know the one the one guy who looks like the scream mask. I forget his name. He's a good dude. <laughs> the <laughs> scream. <laughs> the one guy with the fucking giant Mac Tonight head. He's a nice, he's a good boy. I've chatted with him briefly. The other guy lurks around. I don't know his name. Just <laughs> insanity coming Where's off the, the last girl? semester. Who, she's Nikki? Still here? Yeah, she's, she's here. I she's like I, her. She's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah we can, obviously, we, we can't be bothered with interns. That's silly. That's stupid. She's, uh, she's a lot more professional than... Yes. The uh, previous female intern. Well, we haven't talked to her a lot. Sitting She's in just shy. We'll, Sitting uh, in we'll eventually get to them, maybe. I air. don't think. <laughs> she doesn't like being on air or something. Well, she's, you know, polite what about it. I'm yeah. surprised Jackie's not running here from Buffalo or wherever she is when we Rochester, ask her. Rochester. We all know where she name. is. And then she just <laughs> plops in the chair and starts fucking Hi, yapping. Hi, guys. Yeah, she would just come in and pull up a chair, relax. We were all like, all right. Yeah, when is she going to yeah. visit us? What the fuck, man? Yeah. She was gonna. Uh, she talked about podcasting. I was talking to her and she was talking about podcasting. Yeah, everyone's like, you, talking about podcasting. But she's actually someone I think should do it. I think my cleaning lady's podcasting at this uh, point. And uh, I don't know if she's going to or not, but I think it'll be an interesting tie-in if she started. But I don't know if she started or not. <laughs> I do still stand by my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy saw mm -hmm. gravity. Yeah, I saw Ooh. gravity. You got to see it at the IMAX, though, huh? I saw it in just regular 3D. Oh, IMAX 3D. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous, because, nice. I mean, that movie obviously was made for IMAX yes. 3D. Although, when we got there, of course, the top section was reserved seating, and we, but we still got good seats, because Roland Hotel has a couple good seats. But I think in the IMAX, it almost doesn't matter where you sit. Hmm. You're just used to getting that really cool seat in the theater, but even yeah. if you're way down or way off to the side, the whole fucking thing's right in front of your face. Yeah. That's just how the technology goes nowadays. It, it was, uh, it's what, when I looked at, after the movie, I'm like, this is what Hollywood does best. It was visually, it's a masterpiece visually. Absolutely. And I thought that, uh, I thought George Clooney was great, and I thought she was fucking amazing. Yeah, and I don't really like her in movies, but she was really good. Yeah. The, the girl Bullock, from the bus. obviously. Yeah. She was amazing. She's going to get nominated. Whether she wins or not, I don't know. You think? Absolutely. There's so much of her in here. And uh, it's a real role. It's not like just a fluff role. That Like, it's really well acted. Yeah. Really well acted. Ooh. Yeah. Like, it's not just her with a bunch of action. There was some. There was silence in the movie at moments that I was surprised at and I liked. Like, where they just show you the fucking, the vastness and the emptiness of space. Space. By being quiet. And then oh. you're like, oh my fucking god, is it you're alone up there, man? Yeah. Oh man. Ugh. Creepy. Yeah. Yeah. And and the way that they move around, they show him and her that they're moving in space and they show you it's like it's 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 it looks so hard to do. I I didn't realize how violent it was to move oh. around in space. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. They bump into things pretty hard when they get that momentum going. Yeah. Yeah. You forget you can't slow down. Like, I know, but oh nothing God. you do will slow you down. Oh. You, just, you just feel like you could just kind of like just see, you just can't attach yourself nicely. You can't swim. <laughs> nothing, no, <laughs> that'd be funny. There's try a to lot swim. of just yeah. horrendous bumping going on. Well, there's no air to push again. I mean, no. you know, oh, well, yeah, sure. Wow, you liked it, huh? Loved it. Yeah, I loved, loved it too. It. It's I really liked to it a lot. Be very good. It's probably going to do very, very well. It was only an hour and a half. If they didn't overdo it, make it's it not two twenty. There's not one minute in the film that's wasted. No. Ooh. The movie goes by so fast. I actually wished it was a little longer. Like, I would love another 10, 15 minutes of it. I really, and, and I'm not going to give anything away. I'm going to say there's a couple of moments where I thought they were going to do something that was really going to annoy me. Mm. And then uh, I realized they're not going in that direction. And, I was like, and it made me love the movie more. Like, fuck, they did not fall into this wow. cliche. Um, I thought it was great. I got to see that. Yeah, but two, try to mm -hmm. see that on IMAX, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure in a regular theater, it's still good, though. I mean, Without 3D? Did you see it with or without 3D? I saw 3D. Yeah. Obviously, it'll be on screens without the 3D. 
I don't know, man. Still be cool. It'll still be cool, but you know, just watching a regular movie in a theater nowadays, it looks so dated to me. It's amazing how it took so long for 3D to take off, and then they finally like use it properly. It. Yeah, right? yeah. There's a moment, but they got to just upgrade their their shit in the, the theaters. regular theaters. You know, because everybody knows. It's I guess something... it's way too expensive. Where they would have done it by now. Everybody knows something hits the fuck. You know, we all saw the trailer. Everybody knows that they get thrown around. You know, the spoiler. Yeah, everyone's seen that trailer. Yeah, yeah. But the moment when she's sitting there fixing something, you remember when she was cl she's close to the screen, and you fucking it's it's an amazing 3D. Like you're literally just sitting there with Sandra Bullock in a fucking space helmet. <laughs> it's so <laughs> weird and so personal. So cool how they. Because it feels like, and she's not even doing anything. She's just repairing something. And you're like, this is fucking amazing how good mm. this looks. That opening scene before, you know, all hell yeah. breaks loose. We're not giving anything away because right. it's the yeah, whole movie. Knows. Sure. was just amazing to watch. Yeah. It was about, what, 10 minutes maybe? Yeah, it's great. And, just, and, and the opening shot, did you love that? Beautiful. Beautiful. We explained it on the, on the show, uh, I guess, Monday. But you're, you're looking at uh, Earth from the, you know, the... Um, I don't know from space because from be just beyond beyond little, uh, beyond place, really. beyond where the characters were I guess, and then all of a sudden like you just start noticing in the corner a little tiny little fucking movement that turns into a dot and slowly they took their time too becomes yeah. bigger and bigger and bigger and you realize holy fuck that's the space shuttle in orbit wow, and then a as it gets even closer and closer now you see George Clooney doing a uh, untethered uh, spacewalk. Wow. But just how they took their time with that shot to open the movie was just brilliant. Yeah, it almost had a 2001, like, no, I'm not going to say it was not that slow at all, but it was it was one of those things where they really do. I don't mean slow in a bad way. Right, just, right, right. They took their time, I should say. But I'm saying I, I liked that they did that. Like, yeah. I liked it. Like, 2001 it, was slow. But it shows how ridiculously just, vast it uh, is up there. Because when you when you see in, when you see an Earth from the space shuttle or something, you know, that's the perspective. You're like, oh, okay. But you don't realize that's just a dot among many many billions of you know dots the camera work was but when they show them repairing something you're floating with them Ooh. and the camera will go like say she she or he or saying they're doing something and the camera floats under and then you can see the just pitch black like oh, with wow. all the dots of, of the stars and then it will come back around and then you're looking down at the earth spinning below and you see this is I it looks like news footage like this is what the astronauts see and it's fucking Huh. Holy shit. And, and you didn't really? get nauseous, right? I did not get nauseous, but I could so see how, how they, you would. But I'm thinking to myself, how did they pull that off? Because most people will not get nauseous, unlike mm. the stupid Cloverfield, which we reference a lot on this show. Because the camera was steady, maybe. Maybe the camera know. wasn't moving the yeah, way Yeah, I was, was surprised I didn't get a little nauseous, because there's a lot of spinning going on. <laughs> the movie's going to do amazing numbers. Yeah, yeah, what a blockbuster, man. That, that was It's mm. better than any of the other movies. They, I, want, I wonder if that's why they didn't release it over the summer because of what, what was coming out. Maybe they were smart to wait because I think it's better than any of those movies. Like Oblivion I saw, which was good. Another isolation movie, you know? It's like that's what the big thing is now, isolation movies. People we're all so tied mm. in with each other and we're all so tech savvy mm. and fucking this. These big blockbusters are about us now just being alone. Oh, no one likes that. But that's what, you know, that's what I thought of last night watching this, because like uh, the Jaden Will Smith movie, but just fucking Cruise and Oblivion, this yeah. is very minimal cast um, mm. in some of these big films. Very good observation, Mr. Norden. Yeah, but I yes. loved it, man. I loved yeah, it. I was absolutely. so happy that I loved it. It was different than I thought it would be, but I enjoyed it more than I thought mm. I would, the whole thing. Yeah, I thought it was going to be some hacky dumb movie. No, yeah, When you too. first saw that first you know, trailer or whatever, you're like, yeah. oh God, what could they possibly do with this? You know, but yeah, they, oh, they figured it out and they could have cheese dicked it up and they could have and they didn't like there were certain things they could have done, which I was, I was so expecting and, and I was so happy that they didn't do. I'm glad they kept it to uh, an hour and a half. That's pretty I, good. I actually wanted a little bit more. I mean, that, oh, that's how much I liked it. Greedy. Yeah, yeah it was uh, great. When does it come out? I think I want to say Friday. Oh, it is. I'll definitely go see it again. Without a doubt, I'll I gotta see it in IMAX 3D now. Friday, yeah, dude, it's worth it to see it there. Friday, Friday, happy birthday, Al Sharpton. Thank you. Oh. oh, 59. Good for him. Yeah. Oh, good for you. Uh. <laughs> the um, the Reverend Al. Good, good for him. He's there on a MSNBC. Where you belong? The government shutdown. Huh? <laughs> what are we up to? Day three ish. 
With uh, no end in sight? Do we have no end in sight? That, that there big meeting at the White House yesterday is the headline. And, How'd that uh, work? Obama work said, look, I'm not negotiating whatsoever. And then Boehner had to go, oh, he's not going to negotiate, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I, uh, whatever. It's going to start getting ugly, though. Yeah. Because this will go into next week now, right? Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, look, I, I, say, the- I say to Congress, you know, stick to your guns. You know, you've you've wanted this for many, many years, a, a complete separation of the parties. Mm. You feel one way, they feel the other. Play it out. Let's see if you have balls. But as soon as they start realizing that their careers in, are in jeopardy, yeah. watch how all these fuckers start caving in. Well, that's what they're going to do. They're gonna and they're not going to cave in because of the American people. They're going to start realizing, wait a minute, this is going to hurt me personally. And you watch, that's when all this shit gets worked out. They're posturing for the next election. That's right. what they're doing. So but they have the balls to, to play out it out. A lot of you guys are going to be fucked over it, but let's, let's go. This is what you wanted. They just don't know how to get out of this at this point. Like the Republicans, um, I think they realize that their little bid to defund Obamacare uh, failed. Like, and that was the whole thing for this. Obamacare is implemented. It's in place. It's funded. It's it's whatever it is at this point. Um, I I think they they thought maybe they'd get a little more uh, fear into the 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 people and um, the Democrats. It didn't work. So perhaps they got to start thinking of an exit strategy for this uh, right, situation. Right. Um, Democrats, on the other hand, you know they can make the Republicans look really bad <clears throat> during this whole thing. Right. And uh, when you got the the elections coming up, the midterm elections, you got to really start thinking about, you know, what you're going to look like, what the ads are going to say, you know. Even though it's not, it was never supposed to be about that. No, of but course not. As soon as these guys realize, oh, term. fuck, I might not get reelected. They're all going to start caving. They should add one termers uh, so they can't. You know what? Fight for their goddamn stupid jobs, and they have to fight for uh, the country. And you know what? Yeah. Can we can we continue talking about this? But let's just open a window and talk out a window. Oh yeah, yeah. Because nothing yeah. changes. Nothing. We all know there's major issues down there, Washington, mm-hmm. but nothing will ever be fucking changed. Yeah. Ugh. Bunch of fucking bricks. Yeah, they really are disgusting. And they all they, they know how to get out of it. They just don't know how to get out of it and save face. And save face. Well, that's, they care about yeah, that's what face. they're waiting for. Because they got to save yeah. their own asses now. And and you can you can uh, you can blame the Republicans, but then again, you got to look and say, well, they're doing what their constituency wants. I mean, a lot of people on on the right and a lot of people that are Republicans and uh, don't like the idea of this Obamacare. It's very expensive. Uh, he him and the administration. Um, lied. They they blatantly lied about what this is and what what it's going to cost. Uh, and you know uh, the Republicans are like, no, we're doing what our people kind of want. So you can't blame them on that front. But uh, it's gotten way out of hand. No there, one's doing anything. There, it's just a two party. I told you when, we, when I went Ron Paul briefly here. I, mm. I wanted to. I want to interview him so bad. I'm like, uh, when are we going to get out of this? All, he had time for one question. I'm like, uh, when do you think we're going to get out of this two party system that we're stuck in? Mm. And because uh, I'm like, what else do you ask him? And he goes, well, you mean we have to get a second party because the other two is the same one. Same one. Oh, I'm boy. like, yeah, I guess he's yeah. right. Wow. They really yeah. are the same yeah. fucking person on both sides. There's no difference. No difference. <laughs> it's terrible. I hate it. A lot of guys are out of work, though, man. And the government, they, they, they pe- people. don't the politicians still get their health care like, while this whole thing's going on? They're still oh, yeah. taking they care get, of. They get paid. They're getting paid through this whole thing. They have their own health care, which uh, uh, they, I, they're exempt from the Obamacare why, thing. Why? Be- because they can make up whatever fucking rules they want. And, and any American that looks at that and doesn't see that there's a fucking problem they should, is blind and stupid. They should live like the average American. Exactly. Then they would understand what people are going through. That's how they're supposed to represent. Of course. Is by knowing, by being a, a, a citizen. Right. Uh, Whatever. It's, it's, it's cray. It's cray cray. Yes, they are exempt. Shut up. Congress isn't exempt from Obamacare. Yes, they are. Shut up. Yes, they are. Shut up. Yes, they are. Shut up. Well, there goes that. 